Silent Hill. Is it really that silent? Silent Hill is surprisingly loud for a place that's called Silent Hill, isn't it? it is it actually that quiet? I don't, I don't ever think so, really. I think it's always pretty loud. Silent Hill! Silent Hill 3, to be specific. I haven't touched this one in forever, but I still remember it. And, like, the way that it is. Loud? What about Loud Mountain? Like, if you ask me to remember, like, how to get to area to area, that's not going to happen. Or, like, puzzles, that's not going to happen. I remember Big Story Beats. Unsettling Hill. Ooh, Unsettling Hill. Unsettling Hill seems more appropriate. Anyway. Hello, guys. Let me boot the game up. This takes a second. It, it took a bit to get this thing to run, but you know what? I'm happy that it finally started working. Because, you know, you have to make it difficult for it to, you know, load. Yay! Down to the And it's loud. Silent Hill 3 is like one of the hardest games to actually get working on the whole series. I was mean, seriously like, this is like one of the hardest games out of the whole series to play again. Enjoy this song by the way, it's, it, it, it's so good. is probably going to have this song muted. I guarantee it. Got muted. Go, big gear. Of course it did. It played this one of their big songs. This is totally gonna get muted too. I have the Silent Hill 2 save file, yeah. We're still gonna get that Yule going, yeah. fun intro right it's different than the other ones this one the song in it's actually like really upbeat and everything and walker menu trailer looking different it sure does hey old make sure the game volume is loud but not too loud no, no don't you start up again hey. stop 
scared enough out of you already. New game. All right. So this one is okay. Compared to one and two, one and two on hard, not that bad. Two can be a little dodgy uh, during those few parts because enemies move faster. That final fight with the pyramid heads and the final boss fight can be a little nuts. This one on hard, from what I remember, is actually like significantly harder, like painfully hard. Hey, Beanie. We're going to do it anyway. I mean, why not? I, I can save wherever I want. So if I really feel like I'm stuck somewhere, I can just replay a spot. And we'll put the riddle level on hard again because we want tough riddles that'll rack our brains, right, chat? Totally normal things to see at an amusement park. I was heading to bed and saw this. You, well, I appreciate it, Beanie. Thank you for stopping by. Well, look, we're in an amusement park, guys. In Silent Hill. What a lovely looking place. It's that rabbit from Dead by Daylight. Hey, it's that rabbit from Dead by Daylight. Also, this game looks fantastic for just being on the PS2. Where am I? Yo, sick noise. Hey, it's that rabbit from Dead by Daylight. Hey, it's that rabbit from Dead by Daylight. Hey, it's that rabbit from Dead by Daylight. Yeah, well, at least there's two of them. Didn't you do fixes to it, though? Uh, not really. No, I, I didn't fix anything. Just that way it runs on the PC. Oh, you're okay, Snow. Hello. This is Robbie the Rabbit. Hello, Robbie. Rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is there someone in there? It looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. Giant rabbit costume. Why would this be here? Waste, please. Oh, I forgot that the controls are a little goofy on this. For some reason, circle is run. Square is your map now. And triangle turns on and off your flashlight. I don't know why it changed, but... That's the way it is. And we're dead. That's supposed to happen. Uh, there, there's multiple ways to just die during that part. I didn't mean to just immediately die, but yeah. It was all a dream. Like the end of that segment, you're supposed to get run over by a roller coaster. But um, yeah, we kind of just did that. Tomato ketchup. That, that, that's an entire dream segment. We were supposed to get run over by a train during it because it's just a nightmare. But uh, I just fell down a hole. Harry. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Let's spoil a plot point right off the bat. Pusha. Comes up immediately. Fine. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartland. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, 
Nice talking to you. <laughs> you tell him, Heather. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. Zyros got hour ran over by a roller coaster. Walking home from case on all Hallows Eve. Told me not well said. To talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. That's a normal thing to just tell someone. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Hey, you have fun with that. That's a save point, but we can also just do that to save, so I'll be using that when I want. That weird old detective is out there, so I'm not leaving. I don't like mirrors. Oh, cut out what other, other part of the dialogue was there. Guess someone's in there. Yeah, it's occupied. Rude of me to keep on knocking, huh? Well, she keeps looking over here, so. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Throw just blocked with empty boxes and stuff I can't get through. Well, we'll go this way then. Because this game, we don't actually start in Silent Hill. They're actually outside. Ah! Who? Who's there? Who? Who's there? Okay, we are not in Silent Hill. We are off somewhere else in a mall. Didn't well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. But how did this car park here? Ooh, ooh. I am an owl. Ooh. Who parks like that? A monster, that's who. The lock is broken. I can't open the door. Even here, locks break. We're not in Kansas anymore. Who fixes Kiara's these doors? We're in the lands between. Oh yeah, I forgot I can strafe. And it's even better now. Look at that. Look at that strafe action. Just walk like that. The door shut tight, it won't open at all. There's a lot of stuff posted up here, but nothing useful. The locker door won't open. Guess I'll just leave it alone. The lock is broken. The lock won't open. Nothing will open. Everything is closed. Employees only. Lock broken. It's locked. I have no flashlight. What do I have on me anyway? Let's see. We have a house key. It's my front door key. Dad gave me this on my birthday. It's one of my my treasured belongings. And I have a knife. Never meant to be used, but you never know. I mean, Heather has to deal with some weird things going on in people. Oh. Uh... What happened in here? You guys hear that? I hear some kind of noise. Like talking. The fireproof shutters are down. I can't get past here. sneak check me out i'm so sneaky fancy goods this is boutique store is open oh look a gun that's a good sign immediately giving me a gun That, that's also a good sign.
You know what's funny? I don't even think we have the bullets to kill this thing. Stay back. Get the hell See, like I was saying, I don't think we have the ammo. Or maybe we do. What the hell is this thing? It's a monster. I, I killed it. Yeah, ugly. Ugly is a word for it. You can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Oh, not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. They're just staring at it. This is a dressing room. I don't need to go in here. It's not that I hate clothes, but this isn't, isn't the time or place. I got handgun bullets. I right, I can click select instead to see what we have on us. <laughs> Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. You sure this isn't the time? Oh, seems like an appropriate time. Nothing interesting. F only. broken it's unlocked well, that's good i don't have a map for this area and oh god is that dark exit well there's an exit right here oh map we always love getting maps shopping mall map oh good she's been marking things off but she's been trying to open them so as we can see, there's the hall there. There's all the things that are locked. All of them. Can I zoom in? I can. Zoom. There's a button, but the elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Probably. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock and door won't open. That is one thing about the Silent Hill games. Is that most doors just don't seem to ever open. Doors broken. Doors broken. Doors broken. And door is broken. Dogs. Let's not. Go that way. And it just doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, that's a lot of dogs. I mean, we can try. So this is why having ah, the ability to save everywhere is nice. So you know what? Let, let's let's attempt this. Let's just go out there and see what happens. Da, 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 da. Ow. Da, da, da. Nothing out there. Dogs. Why did it have to be dogs? The one thing that is different from this game and the previous two games, there will be a lot more enemies. To the point where fighting is extremely... Just not advised. And now the door is broken and won't open. The door is locked, but there's no answer. Your laptop hates you. Why? What happened? Is your, is your laptop okay? All right, let's head back towards the dogs and see what happens. Mm hmm. We know worky. No, worky laptop. I feel like I should have just gone through the stairs. Juke. Ow. Whoa. 
I made it. Do you expect an answer in a bathroom in a seemingly abandoned building? Yes. Apparently one of these other doors could open. Which one? This one? Eh. Well, that didn't lead to anything. Alright, we can reload then. Yeah, that's right. I'm reloading. Because, I mean, honestly, we didn't do anything anyway. We'll just go up the stairs. And yeah, this one I know much less than I do with the others. So, this is going to be a lot of me just wandering. Do, 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 do. Take a walk at action. I always love all the little details everywhere in the Silent Hill games. Like all the signs and everything. Oh, I hear more noises again. Always welcome. Getting louder. Oh, the heck is that? And more noise. Uh. Hello. You seem preoccupied. Just ignore me, please. Beef jerky. That was rude. Now you might be asking yourself, why do you want beef jerky? Beef jerky is actually helpful because it can distract enemies if they haven't spotted you. You can distract them with beef jerky. Got a health drink and some handgun bullets. I'm actually being serious. Like it will actually distract them and they'll be like, well, I don't know where they went. Wait, oh supplies. There we go. Processed dried meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract monsters. See? So, like, if there's a, some monsters patrolling an area and you need to get around them, you can use that to distract them. Hmm. Something's falling between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. My arms were a little longer. I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table full of books. Way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. Once again, we must find a way to grab a thing that is trapped under something. To get the thing. As is our destiny in Silent Hill. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. I'm glad that they're enjoying all their loud ass music, but can can they please stop? Thank you. Which doors haven't I checked yet? Okay, we checked that one. There's one I missed. It was this door. Lock is broken. this that lead to nothing and there's these two doors nothing and no smoking I just love this music we have more doors and hallways to check out so let's go exploring Helen's bakery it's bread but I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. But guys, it's bread. Look at that detailing on the bread, though. Like, you didn't have to do that. I got a pair of tongs. It's bread. Bread. More bread. Like, you didn't need to go to all this effort, but they did. Crispy toasted bread right to your very door. Everything on sale. There's a flyer. Bread. Yeah, bread. Hey, Makoto. There are no employees around. I wonder where they all went. Can you guys let me in? Come on, I just want, I just want bread, bro. Alright, we might as well just explore the rest of this floor. Ah. Hello. Is there another one coming from the other way? Looks like it. Let's try to circle around this one. This is a bit more space. Blocked. Damn. 
Lock is broken. Oh, we can't go to the cafe. No. So happy they're slow. This is what I mean. Just sort of walk away from anything that, that wants to kill me because it's not worth it to try to fight all this stuff. So all that's locked off. There's one door that we can't open. So let's go grab those. The keys. With the tongue. Hello. Owie. I'm getting beat up by the weird thing. Please, sir, a mere slice will do. May have only a crumb. Might you be able to spare a crumb's worth of bread? But there's so much bread and she doesn't want to eat any. I wonder why. I think in a situation like this, I would be stress eating. Like it broke, just give me all the bread, please. I will eat all of it. I gotta watch those carbs. Yeah. Hey, Sunry. <laughs> Submissive and breadable. <laughs> key taken with tongs. Can we examine the key? I'm pretty sure I know where it goes, but yeah. My best sellers. Oh boy. A bookstore key. Ah ha ha ha. Oh boy. Oh, I can't save here. But I can save here. Didn't like that I was like a few inches away from that little red thing. It was like, no, no, this area is dangerous. Oh, there's more of them. So again, uh, like I was saying, the game loves enemies way more than before. I don't know why they went like full throttle with the enemies in this one, but they sure did. They're like, ah, and, oh yeah. And when I say that, I mean, there's, there's a lot more enemies, like a lot more. There's a ton more enemy types. I wish I could read any of these because I feel like at this point, none of the books are very interesting. Just the kind that I can buy anywhere. Like. Are any of these things that exist anywhere anymore? Not the bookstore itself. I mean, like the, the pictures that we see. Maybe they were things from like the times. Like some of these look like uh, magazine covers or and stuff that I even recognize almost. Our top sellers. I kind of miss going to bookstores like this. Oh, look. Uh, Shakespeare. And gun bullets. I'd like to take those, please. Thank you. For my collection. One of the books are very interesting. Okay. Whatever you say. I got Shakespeare Anthology too. Three, five, one, four. Did I just line up the books I picked up off the floor? Is there anything else in here before I go and do that? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. So, what happens if I examine all these books? Examine. I'm not much for sentimental slop like Romeo and Juliet. So I'm assuming that's what this is. It's Romeo and Juliet. King Lear is in this one. I never read that. I read King Lear. One line from Macbeth that I just can't forget. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Yeah, uh, I remember that whole thing. I had to recite it for something in high school. Okay, fine. Yeah, just say it immediately after I do. It was on the floor. Thank you for putting the full thing. Hamlet is in this one. I never read that. Ugh, oh, classic. Othello is in this one. I must have read it, but I forgot what happens. I guess we can just put them back in order. Just... Where on the shelf will you place this book? One, two... Did I have to click there? One... Two... Three... Four. 
Othello, is it me you're looking for? That back. book will you take? None of them. Five goes first. Really? Oh, hey. In here is a tragedy. Art thou player or audience? Be as it may, the end doth remain. All go on only toward death. The first words as thy left hand, a false lunacy, a madly dancing man, hearing unhearable words, drawn to a beloved's grave. And there, mayhap, true madness at last. As did this one, playing at death, find true death at the last. Killing a nameless lover, she pierced a heart rent by sorrow. Doth lie invite truth? Doth verity but wear the mask of falsehood? Ah, thou pitiful, thou miserable ones! Still amidst lies, though the end cometh not, wherefore I yearn for death. Wilt thou attend to thy beloved? Truth, uh, truths and lies, life and death, a game of turning white to black and black to white. Is not a silence brimming with more love more precious than flattery, a peaceful slumber preferred to a throne besmirched with blood? One vengeful man spilled blood for two, two youths shed tears for three, three witches disappeared thusly, and only the four keys remain. Ah, but verily, and here is a tragedy. Art thou player or audience? There is nothing but which cannot become a puppet of fate, or an onlooker peering into the cage. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's our puzzle. Um, and now we have to solve the order in which these books go. So, uh, yeah, um, can any any um any idea, guys? There's a game called Othello that uses black and white tokens. First one is Hamlet. You know, I wish it'd tell me on the side of it which one was which. I think Hamlet would be four then. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it's... So I think it's Hamlet. It's Hamlet. Then Shakespeare. And I think the next one after that is Macbeth. And then I think... That, and then this. This is the order for these. So four, one, three, five, two. Well, we can verify this. Well, we'll read the thing again, and we can work our way through this together. Remembering what we know of Shakespeare, this puzzle requires you to go Hamlet, my favorite Winnie the Pooh character. I loved Hamlet. This poem, or this puzzle, completely requires you to know Shakespeare, though. And that's why, for a lot of people, if you were playing this and you got to this, you just sit there and be like, What? What did I just read? And then you'd probably either just brute force it, or look up Shakespeare, or give up. <laughs> Honestly. And just put it on a lower difficulty. Okay. The end doth remain, all go on only toward death. The first words at thy left hand, a false lunacy, a madly dancing man, hearing unhearable words, drawn to a beloved's grave, and there mayhap drew madness at last. As did this one, playing at death, Finding true death at the last. Killing a nameless lover, she pierced a heart rent by sorrow. Doth lie invite truth, doth verity but wear the mask of falsehood. Ah, thou pitiful, thou miserable ones. Still amidst lies, though the end not cometh not, wherefore yearn for death. Wilt thou attend to thy beloved? Truth and lies, life and death. A game of turning white to black and black to white. Is not a silence brimming with love more precious than flattery, a peaceful slumber preferred to a throne besmirched with blood. One vengeful man spilled blood for two. Two youths shed tears for three. Three witches disappear thusly, and only the four keys remain. So this part here makes me think... One vengeful man spilled blood for two. Three witches is Macbeth. So it's telling us the three witches disappeared thusly. So th the book that is labeled Macbeth, that one is removed from this equation. There, this, the, the pin number that we need for this key, for the, the door, is four, four buttons. Two youths shed tears for three. That's the Romeo and Juliet book. And that was the first book. So it would be the two youths. So one, 
because that's the first book. Then they shed tears for three, so that's a three. So, on the keypad anyway, that's what the number is. Hey, Yugi! So, whatever, where, whatever position I put the Romeo and Juliet book goes in there. When Vengeful Man Spilled Blood for Two, I'm pretty sure that was... What book was that? I don't remember the order of the book. Shid. Ugh. God. Daryl's mouth not, isn't working, so I'm imagining this all being inner monologue. Ah. It's not working, is it? Well, that's a mighty fine pickle. I'm just used to it now, Yukari. Bruh. I'm talking with my mouth so wide open. What am I supposed to do? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not. It's annoying. Work. Mouth. What that mouth do? Ah. Uh, camera. Camera, why do you hate me? Perceive me, please. Did I, like, nudge you again and you got upset? Higher. Hamlet, Romeo, Juliet, Macbeth, Othello, and Lear must be last. Okay. Well, let's see what order I put the books in. And can I just... I, I wish I could just stop. Hold on. So let's see. This is one. So that's Romeo and Juliet. So book four. Hamlet. Macbeth. King Lear. Okay. There. Uh, so... I'm putting them back in their slots. They combine all the books. Okay. Yeah, I agree. That's the correct order. So, four, one, three, five, two. And then this one, because it mentioned that it gets doubled, so it would be eight, three, skip, five, two. Eight, three, five, two. To the keypad. That, at least, that's what I think. Yeah, so first book, you times by two because one man spilled blood for two. Yeah, exactly. So, eight, five, three, two. No? Oh, wait, eight, three, five, two. There we go. Locked. It's unlocked. Did, uh, who else solved that, by the way? The problem solvers. Did you do it? Good lord, is that puzzle weird? <laughs> kind of weird that the save only works when I move lightly. It's very strange that it works when I move just like eh, just a little bit, like a little itty bit, and then it starts moving. Not me, I went cross eyed at some point. Oh, hello. That's not terrifying to see when you open a door. Um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? Please tell me. I have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? There's a look at the lips. Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? No, I'm just talking with my head like tilted up. So what? This feels so uncomfortable, bro. One who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God.
Anybody else weirded out about what, what, what just happened there? I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? <laughs> just another Tuesday night. Oh, yeah, you know it. Door won't open. Door won't open. This is where we came from. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Dutch angles. Where'd that chanting come from? Um, Yggdrasil? Excuse me? Why does it say that? Office. Lumber room. Yggdrasil? Boutique, eh? Lumber room again. And then some weird ominous chanting. Lock is broken. Oh, the elevator worked. Let's get out of here. There's no way to open this door. Excuse me, what do you mean? Hello? Hey. Um... I regret everything about coming into this thing. Help. Help. Let me out. The radio. The radio? What the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. Oh, all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. Now that just means there's tons of monsters nearby. So many monsters. Oh lord, are there monsters. Small sucks. I don't like any of the noises I'm hearing now. Oh, dog. Lock is broken. Poor dogs. They seem to be doing well. Lock is broken. 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 One of these doors is bound to open. One of them. Oh, please. Let a door open. Please get off of me. Uh oh. The door opened. Health drinks. Thank you. Oh. Bruh. I got crazy real quick. We're not hurting that much. I might as well just use one. Yeah. Calm calm down a little bit. Save point. An ampoule. Thank you. This is just a romance novel. I can't be bothered with it now. Are you sure? I don't know. See, now seems like an appropriate time to want to read something. Maybe it's just me. Is there anything over here? I've seen this pattern somewhere. And not just now either. A long time ago. When was it and where? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? There's a lot of mystery going on in this game, guys. Unless you know what the story of Silent Hill is, you don't know what it is. Or maybe you already do. Because you're a savvy kid and you, you picked up 
what's going on. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. Lock's broken. More static. Well, that opened immediately. Hmm. Well, this seems like a nice building. Or room. Hmm. A ladder is hanging halfway down from the ceiling. Even if I stand on the table and stretch my hands out, I can't reach it. If only I had something long to snag it. Like some tongs. Lock is broken. I'm going to be seeing that text a lot. Silent lock is broken hill. Okay. Time to do more exploring. This is the hall we came from, right? Yeah. We will not be exploring here. Okay, we can go out into the big ominous area or go left. We go left. Past these sock puppet things. Nothing here? Of course not. And I always thought they had weird, like, hand things going on there. The way that they look and stuff. Ooh. Bullet, bullet, first aid kit. My favorite. Flashlight. Ooh. I didn't even notice the flashlight. What a lovely place. Oh, wait, there's a warning. Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. There's a light switch. It's on right now. Will you turn off the light? Yes. Yes. I turned the light off. I can still look at the map, even though it's dark. That's nice. Oh, I can still go in here. I got bleach. What do you think? Someone actually in there? Who's knocking back? Who's knocking back? Uh, let's go take a look. Hello? Oh. Oh. Someone had a, a big dookie in here. Ooh. Soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Does someone respond or is it just me? Ooh. Spooky. It's full of filthy, muddy water. It looks like something's stopping it up. Will you remove the blockage? Yes. Oh, forget it. This is way too gross. The, the difference between her and James. <laughs> James, I'll just dunk my hands in everything. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> showing James like James. Uh, I love that. Because James, meanwhile, is just like, yeah, I'll jump down every hole in existence and also stick my hand into the weird shit. Meanwhile, sensible character. This is disgusting. I ain't doing that shit. You can't make me. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is a broken. Hey guys, do you think the lock is going to be broken over here? Actually, wait, no, the lock can't be broken here, can it? I don't think the lock can be broken. Ah, oh, shit. Everybody's trying to kill me. Oh. We were in here earlier and it did not look like this. Um. Hmm. These clothes are awfully dirty. They're stained with blood splatters? They weren't like this before. What could have happened?
the lock is broken and I can't open the door. Why the game gotta do that and make me shit myself? Every time my eyes open wide, I just want you to know that's what's happening. I got a hanger. I will try going north and see if I can get through that door up there. Yeah. Yeah. The lock is broken. Of course it is. It's always broken. Yeah. Y yeah. What the? How the? Excuse me. Hello. Can you guys help me? That that door is missing. I don't know what happened. Um, I'd love to know what happened to it, but. You missed an item. Shit, I did. Shit. Well, I'm gonna go back in there then. The biggest thing for Silent Hill. Always run. Always be running. What did we miss? I don't see anything else. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe it's Maybelline. Hello, my name is Heather. I'll be working in this booth. Can I assist you? Did we miss an item? Hey, the Wi-Fi is back. Welcome back. I don't see anything. There ain't something over here. Oh, bulletproof vest. What the heck? What the heck? One ampoule. It's heavy under a jacket, but it should protect against the monster's attacks. I actually move slow with this thing on. Ow. I think I do. Good lord, I feel fat. Yeah. I'd rather be able to run. But, you know, for boss fights, that's probably handy. Or moments where I know I'm about to get beat down. You're gonna need 900 tetanus shots after this is over with. Yeah. All that nasty stuff I'm touching. No doubt. Let's try to head to the center. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit. Oh, we can't go that way either. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Figgy. Quick, use the hanger with bleach. Hold on. <laughs> hey Clef, the first time I saw how big a tetanus shot needle is, I made damn sure to be extra careful around metal things. Unlike any of our protagonists. Do you guys think that I can use this on that toilet that looked gross? Like if I actually went over that toilet and tried using it? You know, let's go back and find out. I doubt it'll work, but I mean, why not? You know, it's not like... What am I caught on? It's not like I'm missing out on anything here. Can't do anything with those. This game is very much like a welcome to Silent Hill. You already know what this game is all about. Are you ready 
And then just immediately dunk your head into this. Okay, use the bleach. Clearly, this will make you comfortable with putting your hand in there. Yeah, no, that toilet's just too disgusting. Not even I would do that. James is just built different, let's be real. No gloves? Yeah, that's another thing. We don't have any gloves on. Maybe if we had gloves, she'd be okay with it. Once we're snake eater when we need it. James had issues, didn't he? Why would something like this be here? This isn't a hospital. It is now. Also, Yukari, let me know when we're starting. I'm just going to keep playing until then. The lock is broken. The locks are always broken. Also, I don't know about you guys, but that, I don't know, just seeing the abyss like that honestly scares me. And like just a freaking escalator that just seemingly goes nowhere. Like why? With gloves minus bleach because I cannot stand the smell of it. I could only, I could do it on a good day. But with gloves, yeah, I'd do it. Get them Dexter's mom's gloves. Yeah. I've got those gloves. Hello. Hey, wasn't that from Silent Hill 1? I think there was a phone call where that happens. I don't know. I feel like there was. Very similar moment. Where does this go anyway? Another floor. Let's go back down really quick. Before we head up. If this goes anywhere over here. Oh! That's a point. It's like a magic circle I remember reading about in a book on black magic. Does it seem so familiar because I read a book? Uh, I read about it in that book? No, that's not it. It's not the book from the altar altar what am i thinking well, enjoy yourself yugi i know you've been looking forward to being able to play it what's this i got a walnut nut there was a nice silver ring in here the last time i came bummer that it's gone huh the glass is broken in the showcase and it's totally empty. That's too bad. Well, looks like a successful heist here. No, I was expecting the lock to be broken. Of course that one doesn't work. Lock is broken. There's an enemy there. Hello. Can I help you? There's a completely average picture hanging here. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad we can take a second to look at the and appreciate the painting. Cause that's that's what's important right now. Locked. <gasps> a door that's just locked, meaning I can open it at some point. It's locked. <gasps> the lock is broken. Crap. The locks on all of those are broken. Two of those doors can eventually be opened, but for now, we can't open them. So, let's go. Ah. I've forgotten where the exit was. Good thing we have this walnut, though, right? This walnut will carry us to victory. This is a good sized walnut from the jeweler's showcase. Combine the bleach with the walnut. Crack the walnut. Maybe if I shoot the walnut. Wait, does that actually just go to nowhere? Oh, it does. It actually just goes to nowhere. Heather, don't keep walking forward. Okay, well, let's leave.
Walnut power. Woo! Yeah, the walnut will save us. Wait. That had a door? It didn't look like it did according to the map. The heck? What is this barbecued dog? Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. I got a cooked key. Ugh. It's a normal wine glass. There's not much reason to carry this. I was about to say wine glass. It's just a roasted dog anyway. I shouldn't let that creep me out. I gotta stop moving. Because it skips text when you start wiggling around. There's a disgusting smell coming from the pot. I think I better keep away. Hmm? What'd you notice? First aid kit. Nice. Yeah, ween glass. I play Fallout. This isn't weird. <laughs> exactly. That's probably what <laughs> she's thinking right now. Like, yo, I play video games. None of this shit's weird. I read books on black magic. This stuff's normal to me. So interesting for a mall to have a place like this that has an outlook, like, with windows and stuff. Then again, I guess it's going out into the buildings nearby. Well, I think that's neat. I wonder if the other side can be... No, it can't. And what the hell noise is that? It's locked. The door has a red crescent around. Something written. It's nice that there's something written there, but uh, yeah, it's a red crescent moon. Let's not get hit for that. Shall we? Dog. The lock is broken. I'll ignore the dog. Lock is broken. Good. Dog. Lock's broken. Door is open. I have one fear. Dog. Two. There, point to this bathroom. I'm going to say no. I I see. Well, that was that was and uh, now it's a bathroom. Okay. Well, with our newly found key, let's head downstairs. Oh. Bye. I have a few fears. Is one of yours the same as mine? Do, do, are you also afraid of... Uh, bathrooms that lead to nowhere? Or is that just a me thing, guys? No. I wonder what aliens would think of us if this game was their first impressions of humans. We had a tough life. Health drinks. Yum yum. Right? Something else there? Oh, it's the door that she's looking at. She's got something over here that she's interested in. I got a steel pipe. Yo! Her glasses and plates on the counter. There's really nothing important here. Steel pipe. Heather with the steel pipe, by God. There's a menu on the wall. It looks like this was once a cafe. How about no? Uh, you know, no, I'm good. Whatever hell monster that was for now. We'll, we'll go back this way really quick. Oh, what are you staring at over here? It's like, it's not the door. It is the door. I want to see if that other door can be opened before I just wander off. Blocked. That's a no. Okay. Time to wander past whatever the hell that thing was. Over here. Jesus. <laughs> the 
Is that like some kind of giant spinning blade of death? That's what it looked like to me. I'm telling you, she deals with the weirdest shit. I got detergent. Nothing else? Okay. Nice detergent, by the way. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, it's a button. I don't know what kind of switch it is, but it's on. We just turn it off. No, we can leave it on for now. I'm going to turn it off. I'm, I'm going to turn off the fan really quick. I don't know. I just... Well, that didn't help. That didn't help at all. I didn't do nothing. You're looking at something over here, though. It's empty. The way you were looking at it made me feel like there was something in there, though. I keep looking down at it. I'm Keezer. I have a pagogic and need guidance. Thank you. Is that not food? Why does the protagonist not partake in it? Okay, first off, bro, my guy, no one uses partake these days. Not even this century. Ah, I see. I will have to finagle my vocabulary index. Shaking my head. Not even going to try with that because we would be here all day. Anyways, they don't take it because you can't interact with it, simply put. But consuming a substance is what keeps you create you creatures alive, yes? I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, it'd be like that. That was not proper grammar. I don't care. That is not proper grammar for the resilience time. <laughs> it's okay, Snow. I understand. Proper grammar. All proper grammar when you think about it. Okay, we're going back out to the demon blade thing. Oh, she's just hugging that pipe. I mean, then again, I would be too in a situation like this. What the? Why is it making that noise, bro? Ow. I hate this thing. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Kezu, you're drunk. Go home. <laughs> yeah, Kezu, knock it off. Oh, that door's locked. Okie dokie. That's where we came from. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Probably starting 20 minutes from now. Okay, that gives us time to keep running around like a headless chicken. We're still in good health. Even despite getting hit by a rotisserie blade. Too spooky for me. Too spooky for me. It's very spooky. Hello, bear. How are you? Go shut tight. I won't open it all. Owie. Not going any further. It's creepy and dangerous to boot. There's got to be a way. I can't 
very well stab them one by one. Some insecticide would do the trick. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Like, I have to find a way to mix that stuff together and then, you know, spray it with this shit. How? Because I have the... These... I have these two things. Combine them together. I can't use it in this location. The question is, where do we use it? Oh, hum. There has to be more that I missed looking at. Hmm. Let's see. There's a locked door. There's where the save is. All right, uh, I can just ask a hint. Uh, did I, do I have everything I need to continue right now? There should be somewhere I can mix these together and spray it out. Buckets hold liquids. Buckets hold liquids. Oh, maybe I could put it. Oh, okay, that's why she's staring at the bucket. Dirty. That's why she's holding the bu like staring at it. I was like, why does she keep looking at this? Yeah. Notice she just keeps staring down at it like it's super important. I'm like, what's important about it? That's what's important about it. Ow. Jesse! Thank you for that raid, and hello, welcome to Silent Hill 3. The spookiest of the silence and the hills. This game is a pain in the ass to get working, and I'm so happy I finally got it to work. I was blood- Oh, no! Octavia Bell, take that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Iros, and I am a variety of <laughs> VTuber. A dream demon at that. And I mean, I play variety games and also a bunch of horror games. So we're doing this. Yeah, Bloodborne's always fun. You guys hear that noise? I hate this game. I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> it's just how freaking unsettling it is. Yeah, we're in the mall right now, Violet. Zyros has already crapped his pants once. Yeah, I, I shit my pants because we opened up a, we knocked on a bathroom stall and then someone knocked back we walked away and then we saw the door open we looked inside the stall and it was nothing but blood that and then the game when we walked away from a door also made like a loud thump noise the lock is broken also hi everybody wait did we start a hype train? We started a hype train. Fog. Is this why we needed the bleach? Yeah, that's why we needed the bleach and detergent. It was to kill off those bugs. It wasn't for my butt. Hello. You don't mind me. I'm just going to be wandering around in here. Ah, more noise. Okay, I'm going to leave now. Yes? gone. There girl, we used it. Don't try to confuse me. Doesn't work. Actually, it does work. Yeah, we just started. So yeah, we're in the mall. And we're going to be playing Payday after this, but right now, yeah, Silent Hill. Hello? Oh yeah, and you can fall to your death. I found that out. So if you see a pit, just Stay away from it, because Heather will just sort of tumble into it and die. Which is nice. Oh, 
Okay. Why does the noise persist? Oh, okay. There's a pit in here too. More darkness, more pits, more dogs. Good. Ooh. More another dog. Nothing that way. The door opened. Ah! That stain on the restraint is shaped like a human. I don't want to even think about what this place was used for. Or platform. Save point. And. There's a sort of vice here. Um. Nut? Where my nut at? Nut. Put the nut in. Nut. No nut in the walnut shell, just a jewel? I got a moonstone. Congratulations, you have found a moonstone. Oh, yeah, crack that nut. You could say we bust that nut. There are shackles here. They look pretty broken and gross. This again. Looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important, but I also have the feeling that I'd better be better off not remembering it. Oh, the bright red light. You remember how in Signalis they had the bright red light? I wonder where that came from. Ah, my eyes. Every time. Uh, probably nothing. You know, I couldn't imagine what. I mean, I can say it. You try, but your mouth isn't moving, it's unlocked. So Ow. Really saying it? So I need to Well said. I got that rock. What's the rock for? Can we stop with the noise at least? Just a type of jewel, not really from the moon. It was inside the walnut somehow. Whoa. I feel like there's more that I could have explored in that room. I'm gonna head back that way. I hate this enemy. Just because of the noise it makes. So loud. I'm more quiet like the dogs. What did I just say about being more quiet like the dogs? I wasn't quiet at all. Ow. Please leave me alone. Oh, there's multiples of these things. Good. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> Stop it. I tried opening all of these, none of them worked. We are now in what I'd call ouchy status. They're now happy again. Okay, let's take that moonstone back with us. Oh no, not you again. This is my only complaint about this game. It sounds like it's just so many noises. It just sounds like a bunch of gibberish. Ow. From all the noises you hear. Oh, please go up. Move, move out of the way. Move, move out of the way. Oh, hello. Uh, which way do I go? This way. Not oh, that moonstone. I think I can use it on that one room that had the, the red moon. I'm getting camped. How oh, cool, man. Oh, 
playing this on a hard mode also means we get less things to heal with. Moonstone on a moon door? Madness. Yeah, I know, but it's just crazy enough to work. Lock is broken. Nothing. Just noise. Nothing. 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 That's where we came from. Alright, I'm gonna go down the ladder. I thought I was about to like fall off the ladder and miss. <laughs> oh yeah, no rush. You know, take your time. But you guys like boss fights? That metal pipe falling sound. No. Seriously, again, this came out on the PS2. How does this, how does this game look so good? I mean, look at this. Look at that thing. I don't know. I think it looks pretty, really good. What in the absolute fuck is that? Uh, our nightmares. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee. I walked into an accident. You can get up now, Heather. Whenever you're ready. Go ahead. There we go. We died? I thought I had a thing on to help me know when I'm near death. Well, we're dead. Quite a good run, though. Continue. Oh, isn't that nice? Let's me right back here. Good. Are you ready? Get back up again. I believe in her. She'll get up eventually. There we go. Uh. Let's, let's, we'll use the gun. Look at it go. I love the music in this too. So good. Yeah, get out of here. Can I hit it? Does this do anything? In that combo attack, she was ready. I'm in the Elden Ring, Ohio. I, I mean, so am I. Look at this shit.
That's right, retreat. Music is creepy for Halloween, which is perfect. Just right for Halloween, if you ask me. But yeah, I agree. Ow, that was rude. This thing's just like a row of teeth and shit. Oh, my handgun bullets looking. E3. Get up, Heather. Damn you. I'm going to dance now. Still doing fine for health though. Like, I thought that would hurt me or something and it didn't. Rinse and repeat until boss is dead. Also don't forget to dance. We did it. We won. The evil has been defeated. Playing Animal Crossing while watching this and the sheer contrast and vibes is sure is something. Haha, <laughs> please help us rebuild our farm. You're the best. Meanwhile, Satan music. Da, 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 da. <laughs> just blood leaking from the walls. The Animal Crossing characters are just like, yay! Chop down this cherry tree. Plant some oranges. I love that contrast though. Did you know that there's a someone made an Animal Crossing look-alike like murder mystery game? Let's do your best villager impersonation. Uh eat my ass. <laughs> what? Because you could say what their signature messages. <laughs> That's something people could put. What? That's the noises they make. And like when they're like, hey, give me a cool catchphrase to say at the end of my words, okay? Is, <laughs> what did you just say? Is that a thing? Yes, that's a thing. Some of them are like, hey, man, can you give me a cool catchphrase to say at the end of my phrase? And like normally you'd put something like, ah, woo, or something, or like, heck yeah. But then some people could probably just put stuff like, eat my ass, and then the character will just say it at the end of the, the phrase. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Scary movie OST would fit whenever you walk into Tom Nook's store. True. I feel like I did. No, why would you feel like I'm the one who would do that? Why would I make my character say, eat my ass? I was like 12 years old. Okay, wait, I was older than that. You know, maybe I did. No, I probably put in like a swear word. Like, haha, they said poopy. Poopy shit. They made the, the Animal Crossing characters say, fuck. That was totally a thing, at least on the GameCube version. Like, I remember distinct, uh, like, times where the character's like, give me a new catchphrase to say. No, don't leave, please. Allie's ice cream. Oh, look at that. Allie has an ice cream place. They did it on the DS version, too. Ayo. 
Burger people did the same thing. Happy Burger. I love Happy Burger. Oh, happy Burger. Please make me happy. Tell me you got me. Oh, they've got me goods. They've got first aid kits and handgun bullets. <gasps> what? Is there even more handgun bullets? That's beef jerky. All right. Well, shit. Okay. I got to get good at using the beef. King size. Oh, man. I love Happy Burger so much. Holy shit. They have hot dogs. It, it, it Happy Burger. Maybe they do it Happy Burger. Burger shop. I'm just waiting for you, Kari, to tell me when we start playing Payday. Look at that, guys. We beat a boss. We solved one of the craziest puzzles this game has to offer. But, hey, Jesse, uh, do you know Shakespeare very well? Uh, are the other two ready? Then you see a cool character visiting and you go, oh, hey, what do you know? There's this new vacancy. And then you walk towards one of the villagers' houses with a bloody knife. Yeah, exactly. I think so. Okay. Uh, just really quick. How, how Do we have any Shakespearean lore addicts here? People who really know Shakespeare well. Also, you promised me hot dog, sushi, ramen, black cherry ice cream. Yes, but not, not now. I am a librarian. Figgy, would you like to try to solve a puzzle? Hold on. Here, Figgy. Figgy, you can try to solve this puzzle then. Or was it? Was it here? I know a bit about Shakespeare, but it's been a while. Alright, let's see if you guys can solve this. I think it was here. No, it's not this one. Hold on. Hey, good luck, guys. You can try to solve this. I'll, I'll just give you the, the things. Uh, was it this one? I think it might be this one, then. It's before you go to the Nightmare Roof. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, in my inventory right now, I think I have them on me. No, I do not have them on me. So, come over here. There's these books. Nor what order they're in. I'm just going to grab them really quick. These are all Shakespeare books. I'll just grab these. All right. This is on hard mode, by the way, because the, the puzzle settings have uh, three difficulty settings. Easy, normal, and then hard. So, examine this. The first book is Romeo and Juliet. This one's King Lear. This one's Macbeth. The third one. The fourth one is Hamlet. And then the fifth one is Othello. All right. So you get those five books. And then along with those five books, you have this note here. And this note is supposed to give you all the context you need to solve this puzzle. Here it goes. And here is a tragedy. Art thou player or audience? Be as it may, the end doth remain. I'll Romeo, go Romeo, on only at? toward you death. Go see me? I gave you my number and all that, so least you can do is send me a text. Like God. Right? First words at thy left hand, a false lunacy, a madly dancing man. Hearing unhearable words drawn to a beloved's grave, and there, mayhap, true madness at last. As did this one, playing at death, find true death at last. Killing a nameless lover, she pierced a heart rent by sorrow. Doth lie invite truth, doth verity, but wear the mask of falsehood. Ah, thou pitiful, thou miserable ones. Still amidst lies, though the end cometh not, wherefore yearn for death. Wilt thou attend to thy beloved? Truths and lies, life and death, a game of turning white to black and black to white. Is not a silence brimming with the love more precious than flattery, a peaceful slumber preferred to a throne besmirched with blood. One vengeful man spilled blood for two, two youths shed tears for three, three witches disappeared thusly, and only the four keys remain. Ah, but verily, and here is a tragedy, art thou a player or audience? There is nothing which cannot become a puppet of fate, or an onlooker peering into the cage. Hey, Crystal. What's up? So, um, yeah, uh, do you know what the answer to solve this puzzle is? So that way we can open this door.